Hey, this is Adam from Crown Automotive, and today we're going to be installing the newest product from our RT Off-Road line on this 2015 Jeep JK, our big brake kit. Let me walk you through it. The rotors we include in this kit are a 13 inch diameter, a full inch over the factory 11.9 inch. As you can see, it's quite a big difference over the factory size. The pads we include in this kit are about 20% larger than stock, giving you that extra biting power for when it's needed. And the crown jewel of this kit is the huge two piston caliper, which dwarfs the factory single piston caliper. We start the installation by setting the parking brake. Since we know that not everyone has access to a lift and specialized tools, we've decided to perform this upgrade in our parking lot without any air or power tools. Loosen the lug nuts on each side, but do not remove. Lift the front tires off the ground using a floor jack or bottle jack. Place a pair of jack stands in a secure place on the front axle and lower the floor jack. Remove the lug nuts followed by the wheel. Remove the brake rotor retainer clips if necessary. We find that threading them out a bit allows for a pair of side cutters to snip them fairly easily. Compress the caliper piston using a C-clamp or a screwdriver like we used. It only needs to compress a small amount to allow the caliper and pads to be removed easily. Loosen the brake hose bolt and lightly tighten it again. This will make removing it easier later on. Remove the brake caliper bolts using a 13mm wrench. A 15mm wrench may be required to hold the slide pins in place. Unclip the ABS wire from the brake hose and place the caliper in a place where it won't fall. You can use a bungee cord or a coat hanger if needed. Remove the pads from the caliper bracket using a small pry bar or screwdriver. Remove the caliper bracket from the knuckle using a 21mm wrench. A double wrench technique, like seen here, is useful for loosening these stubborn bolts. Remove the brake rotor. Anybody in the rust belt may need to hammer on the rotor to remove it. Clean any rust and corrosion from the hub using a wire brush. This will ensure that the rotor sits flat and true on the hub. Clean the new brake rotors using a shop towel and brake parts cleaner. Try not to touch the rotor surface with your hands once they've been cleaned. Install the rotor onto the hub and thread a lug nut on to keep the rotor snug against the hub. This will make the rest of the installation easier. Place some of the included red thread locker onto the supplied caliper bracket bolts. Only a small amount is necessary. Install the new caliper bracket onto the knuckle using the supplied caliper bracket bolts. Turn the knuckle to better access the caliper bracket bolts. Torque the bolts to 120 foot-pounds. Mm -hmm. 
straighten the steering, and place some brake grease on the pad contact points on the caliper brackets. Be careful not to get any grease on the rotor. Install two of the included brake pad springs onto each pad like this. Install the pads so the springs sit in the bracket with the ear of the springs contacting the edge of the bracket. The pads should spring away from the rotor once installed. Place some of the included red thread locker onto the caliper bolts. Only a small amount is necessary. Install the caliper, ensuring the bleeder is above the brake hose bolt hole. The pads need to be squeezed together in order for the caliper to slide on. Install the caliper bolts. Torque the caliper bolts to 26 foot-pounds. The slide pins may need to be held in place here. A small adjustable wrench or skinny wrench will help you. With a drain pan nearby, remove the brake hose from the original caliper using a 15 millimeter wrench. Be careful not to allow brake fluid to get on any painted surfaces. Make sure there are no brake hose washers stuck on the brake hose. Install the brake hose onto the caliper using the included brake hose washers and bolts, ensuring there is a washer on either side of the brake hose. We're using the OE brake hoses here, so orientation may be different depending on if you have aftermarket brake hoses and what their ends are shaped like. It's important to make sure the brake hoses won't get pinched or crushed when the suspension articulates or when the wheels turn left or right. Torque the brake hoses to 23 foot-pounds. Attach the ABS line back onto the brake hose. Remove the bleeder cap from the bleeder valve and bleed the braking system until there is no air in the system. Now is a good time to check for leaks in the braking system. Remove the lug nut that was used to keep the rotor snug against the hub. Install the wheel and tighten the lug nuts to spec. An optional but suggested add-on for this kit is our oversized brake master cylinder. The larger bore will give you a better brake pedal feel as well as increase the stopping performance of the braking system.